The feeling seems to be that well, they'd like to take Mr. Walker's baby back to New York with me. We're dealing with an extremely dangerous criminal, ma'am. You realize that, don't you? Well, that doesn't entitle you to just come along and take your child away without giving any reason. You're making it very difficult, ma'am. Well, I'm sorry about that. I said that our next film, Ragtime, is one of the year's finest films, and here's why. I can't think of a recent movie that contains as many great performances while at the same, si same time succeeds in telling a big sweeping story. Ragtime is a panoramic look at the United States just after the turn of the century. The film is based, of course, on E.L. Doctorow's award-winning 1975 novel. And director Milos Forman, in adapting the book for the movie, focuses on one of the many stories in the book, the story of Cole House Walker, a proud black man, a jazz musician who has run out on his child and his girlfriend. But in this scene, he visits both the baby and the mother in the home where she's working as domestic help for a wealthy New York family. Excuse me, but I don't believe anyone invited you in. This is my child. This is a cute little devil, isn't he? Where's Sarah? She doesn't want to see you. Sarah. Sarah, just say hello to him. Nothing can happen to you. You're safe here. There can't be any harm in just talking to him. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I can marry Sarah. And I will. Soon as she'll have me. I couldn't before. And now I can. sweet moment. Now, what happens to Cole House Walker is that he becomes involved in a tragic incident. He buys a new Model T car, and when it stalls in front of a fire station, the fire chief and his men, outraged that a black man owns such a luxury, throw horse manure all over the car. Cole House demands that the car be cleaned, but the fire chief, Kenneth McMillan, repeatedly refuses. And then something inside Cole House Walker snaps, and he and his friends become terrorists, blowing up firehouses around New York State. The situation reaches crisis proportions when Cole House's gang takes over a New York library filled with priceless art objects, and it is then that the police commissioner gets into the act. The commissioner is played by James Cagney, his first film in 20 years, and he's fabulous, telling the fire chief, Kenneth McMillan, he had better give in to Cole House's demands for an apology and a clean car. All right, come on. All right, come on, straighten up, Willie. Are you ready, Mr. Conklin? Ready? Ready for what? What do you mean? You know that someone's been asking for you, don't you? What is this? It's a joke, huh? It's a joke, right? No joke, Willie. The library over there is worth millions. So? And people keep telling me you're a worthless piece of slime. Hold him! You can't talk to me like that! Shut up, Willie! Willie. You're going to help us now. You're going to talk to that troublemaker, and I mean talk hard like you never talked before. Because he wants you, Willie. And if you can't make him change his demands, he's going to get you. I don't have to do this. I want a lawyer. Waldo Library, please. I got, I got my rights, you know! Walker? Speaking. We have the fire chief for you. Take it. Release him. What do you say we just talk this thing over like? Yeah, I'm ready to do that. I'll go halfway with you on this thing. I don't mind. It's sort of like you come on over, we'll sit down and have a nice talk. Huh? What do you say? It was a joke, damn you! Can't you even take a joke? You can't talk to that. No! You know, take me over there! I don't know what else to say, but I'm a liar! My colleague here across the aisle tells me that uh, audiences are applauding Cagney's every scene in this movie, and well, they should, because he genuinely gives a great performance. He's not just a cute old man they're applauding. In fact, the casting of Cagney in this film is a real masterstroke by director Milos Forman. More than any other American actor, Cagney embodies the positive values of this country, and he sends off 
patriotic sparklers with his every gesture. And that's important because identifying the nature of the American spirit is very much the point of this film. Ragtime, I think, is the greatest cross-section of America since Robert Altman's landmark film, Nashville. But like the era it represents, this film, Ragtime, is much less cynical and more upbeat. I think Ragtime is just wonderful. So far, it's my favorite of all the Christmas movies. Can you think, now Milos Forman is from Czechoslovakia. Right. Can you think of an American director who has made four movies that are more American and more perceptive about America than taking off One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Hair, and this film? This man has come to our country. He has looked at us. He has somehow gotten the way we feel, the way we look, the way we sound, the way we, way we live. And the way we respond to authority. Uh -huh. That runs through all of his films, this response to authority, the independent spirit. He loves the free mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> I think that this film is much more complex than it's being credited. I don't think there's anything uh, wrong with saying that a lot of critics in New York in particular have been knocking this film because mm -hmm. it isn't as good as the book or as complex as the book. Or it's not like the book or it takes a different part of the book than they would have taken. I think the Cole House Walker story is the central part of the book and it should be the central part of the movie. I think the other issue is the book's the book and this movie, as mm -hmm. I see it, is brilliant. It's a wonderful piece of ensemble work, not only by the actors who, as you mentioned, are, are all good. And Mary, let's start naming a couple. Mary Steenburgen. Uh, Who else? Howard Rollins. He plays Cole, House, Cole Walker. House Walker. These characters have great depth. They may not be on the screen, some of them, for a long time, but the mm -hmm. depth is there in the portrayal and in the it's writing. All, the whole film, complex as it is, is all of a piece. It works from beginning to end. It was the, as far as I was concerned, I was in the hands of somebody who was tremendously confident of what he wanted to do. And finally, two very strong yes votes for Ragtime. Mm -hmm. Milos Forman's ambitious portrait of American life in the first decade of this century. Among the movie's many delights is a great supporting performance by the legendary James Cagney. I think the message of this show is rather obvious, and that is ragtime. Ragtime. You know, when I heard that Jimmy Cagney was coming out of retirement after 20 years, frankly, I expected, you know, just a small, he'd be on the screen for 30 seconds or 45 right. seconds. It's a real role. It's got a lot of meat to it, and it's a really fine performance by Cagney. He still has the old magic. Well, he's great, and the movie's great, too. Well,